Hello everyone, it's Ishmael and your priest and I welcome you to today's quick video. You know, like, if there is something that I noticed uh, for the rest of the 2023, half of it for that matter, I think I had encountered situations where I was provoked. I am someone who normally stay alone under normal circumstances, where I am peaceful, you know? I don't go out meeting with friends, that's what I mean. Not alone, alone, like in the house, but I mean like, yeah, I don't be around people, but I got to realize that the most attacks would come because someone provoked me where I am seated at my own things until it got to a point where I noticed that no, this is actually just maybe an attack spiritually that is being designed to test me. And it means if I keep on getting out of control, I might end up even doing things and fail the test. Meaning, I just have to understand I'm at a season where I'm being tested, though I did nothing. And I must just know the best way to handle it, no matter how tempting and provoking it can be. You got what I'm saying? That is why I learned uh, years ago when sometimes my mom would say, when a person provokes you, sometimes it's better to be quiet because you don't know. Next thing you react, you hit that person with just a simple slap. You slap them, then they fall down and die you will definitely go to jail. Not knowing that it was their way of getting out of this earth. But the devil used you as a doorway for them to die. Those people, That person was on their way to dying and the devil made them, tempted you with them so that he can ruin your future. So sometimes better to avoid than to react. You see how much that makes sense? So let me tell you that sometimes, be careful. They will come. They will say things. Sometimes better keep quiet. Or else you respond, you react. That situation ruins you. May God protect you from every temptation set against you. In Jesus' name, amen. And see you next time.